watch your girl trish welcome back to my channel for another video so in today's video i will be showing you guys my victoria's secret and pink collection um on my last not my last video but the video before that on how i organized my hygiene collection you guys wanted to see like individual collections and so i figured i'll split it up into like bath and body works and victoria's secrets and so on and so forth so in today's video i will be showing you guys my collection for victoria's secrets but before we get into that this video is in collaboration with dossier they was nice enough to send me over some more um perfumes for me to try and so i will go ahead and talk about those really quick so as you guys know they do come in this box it's really really cute um i love the um like the nude color of the box and of course they have the dossier brand right there and the three that i got was well the three i got is floriental um, almond i got gourmet um gourmand orange blossom and then floral grapefruit so I'm gonna just talk about these three individually. So the Floriental Almond one, this one is inspired by the Carolina Herrera um, Good Girl perfume. I do not own that perfume, but I've heard a lot of good things about that perfume. This one does smell really, really good. It smells so good, y'all. It's like a, a peachy, it's like a citrus, huh. It's like a warm citrus smell. This one has top notes of almond and peach, middle notes of orris, orange blossom, and tu um, tuberose, and then base notes of tonka bean, vanilla, and coca. I can definitely smell the um, the base notes in this one. Like I said, it is like a warm peachy smell. It smells really, really good. And like I said, and, um, as I mentioned before in my last video, these dossier um, perfumes are really, really, really long lasting. And if you don't want to spend a lot of money on a perfume, you can go go with dossier because they have different deals that you could um, that you could use to get you some on the budget, long lasting perfumes. And then the next one I have here is a floral grapefruit. This one is 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 inspired by the Chanel chance chance or chance <laughs> um you tendre um you they don't give me lying um <laughs> it's the chanel chance perfume okay don't give me lying on this lane name this one has top notes of floral grapefruit um uh, top notes of grapefruit pear black currant middle notes of hyacinth jasmine and lilac and then base notes of orris musk and amberwood and this one smells so good y'all y'all know i love anything with grapefruit and you can definitely smell it it smells really really good and then when it dries down it dries down to that 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 amber that amber and musk note and i love those two notes put together this one just smells really really good and then the next one i have here is gourmand orange blossom and i have wore this one already and when i wore this one i got tons of compliments this one is inspired by the lancome lavi lavi spell perfume um, this one has notes of top notes of orange blossom, black currant, and hazelnut. Middle notes of orris, jasmine, sandbag, and then patchouli. Base notes of praline, vanilla, and tonka bean. This one smells so so good, y'all. If you guys know, if you guys have Dahlia, this one smells similar to Dahlia, and Dahlia smells so 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 good. I actually paired the two together and. It was like chef's kiss it smelled really really good it was really long lasting as i said i got tons of compliments when i wore um wore it together but by itself it smells really good as well let me go ahead and get another swift of this goodness it just smelled really really good y'all um you can definitely smell the orange blossom and it dries down to that tonka bean and vanilla notes and we know we love vanilla notes over here so yes yeah, so that's what this one smells like and of course they do have their um return policy but dossier has sense for everyone you cannot go wrong with dossier um there is female sense there is sense for men and then you have the unisex sense so there's sense for everyone you cannot go wrong with them and i will come um i will include my discount code down below for you guys to use if you decide to go ahead and get you some dossier perfumes so yes we're just gonna get right on into the victoria collection uh part of the video starting off so you guys see all of my sprays right here these are not 
all of my friends but these are most of them um so we're gonna do victoria's secrets first and then i'm gonna get into the pink sprays that i own all right so i'm not going in any like order i'm just gonna pick them up and go so the first one i have here is sheer love this is an old spray a older um not old spray but this is from the like um this is an older spray from victoria's secrets they don't longer have this one in the in the uh in the store but this is one of my favorite ones from bath and body works this is just a pretty smell um i have midnight bloom i love this one i love the way it smells this one has moonflower creamy woods and star cross lover love this spray it's the per it's like a perfect nighttime scent and it's um, very long lasting um the next one i have here is amber romance it's a fan favorite a lot of people love this one um the next one i have here is island away i just love the green packaging and the palm the um the palm trees in the background super super cute um the next one i have here is blush is another one from one of their older collections they no longer have this one in stores as well either i really think they should have this one in sheer love like in store because both of them smell really really good this is one of my favorite sprays so i still have this one um the next one i have is golden sands the next one I have here is Coconut Passion, another fan favorite. This one is a long lasting coconut smell. Um, it smells really, really good and it's super long lasting. Um, the next one I have here is St. Tropez Beach, Beach Orchid. This one is really, really pretty. I did pick this one up during a semi-annual. I love the way this one smells. Um, the next one I have here is Belle Vanilla La Creme. Um, I have bare vanilla radiance and i have bare vanilla i don't play when it comes to bare vanilla y'all i love me some bare vanilla so yes i have all three of them i have all three of them um i have early mor morning sun it's another pretty smell um next one i have here is um horizon bloom super pretty as well i have a velvet petals radiant I have Coral Sky. This one is another older uh, scent from their older collection. Y'all, before, let me just, before I continue, I love Victoria's Secret sprays. Um, before I started, like, you know, well, before I started my my whole hygiene collection uh, thing that I've been on, I used to always, when I was in college and when I was in high school, I used to always have a collection of Bath & Body Works sprays and Victoria's Secret sprays. It's not as big as it is now. Like it, it wasn't as big. It wasn't as big as I don't know what I'm trying what I'm trying to say, y'all. But my collection I had a like a small to medium sized collection when I was younger. But now I have a huge collection of like sprays and stuff. But I love sprays. But what I'm getting to is that I really, really love Victoria's Secret sprays. They're really long lasting and they're strong. Um Although I love my Bath and Body Works sprays, I feel like Victoria's Victoria's Secret sprays are a little bit more long lasting. Um, but yeah, so this is Coral Sky. This, like I said, this one is from a older um, collection. This one has shimmering palms and citrus breeze. It is a pretty citrus smell. Yes, this is a citrus scent. It smells really, really good. Okay, the next one I have here is Temptation. This is in this older packaging as well. I have vanilla lace this is y'all this is another scent that i feel like they should have kept in but i guess they um bear vanilla so you don't need to you don't need to um have both honestly but it's just this one's a different type of vanilla from um, bear vanilla this one's a little bit more creamier and a little bit more sweeter than um bear vanilla so yes but i really really do love vanilla lace and it still smells super super good because this bottle is old um the next bot the next spray i have here is crushed petals another um smell from my older collection <coughs> the next one i have here is the pure seduction la creme i do like the la creme line um that they have right now i really really like it so i do have this one and then the next one i have here is love spell la creme Lusso is one of my favorite scents, so I, I have to pick that one up. 
The next one I have here is Nectar Wave. I love this one. This one is just a sweet berry scent. The next one I have is Marine Splash. I picked this one during the SAS. I love this one. This one is smells like straight up grapefruit and I love the way grapefruit smell. So I had to pick this one up. The next one I have here is Bright Palm, another one of my favorites from SAS. Um, the next scent I have here is Falling Water. I love this the way this one smells. It's really fresh. It's really clean and it's aquatic. I really like water scents and fresh scents, so I had to pick this one up. And then the next one I have here is Before the Rain. It's another fresh scent and I really, really like this one as well. And I love the packaging. So th that was all of my Victoria's Secret sprays. Now I'm gonna hop into my pink sprays. Hey, you know what? Before I hop into my pink sprays, I will show you guys my other um, fragrance mist that I do have from Victoria's Secret. Right, so I'm gonna hop into these sprays really quick. So the first one I have here is Tease. Um, I have Scandalous Dare. I have Love is Heavenly, which is one of my favorites. And then I have Crush. I have Love. And I love the packaging on this one, y'all. And y'all know my middle name is Love. So, yeah. But I really, really do like this one. This one is really slept on. Um, and I love the bottle. Like, it's so cute. And then the next one I have here is Bombshell Seduction. Bombshell is my favorite, so I have I have one more set in Bombshell, so the, but this is Bombshell Seduction. And then I have Fabulous. I really just need to go ahead and throw away this bottle because this is so, this bottle is old, y'all. It's really, really old, but I really don't, it's crazy because I have all these sprays and I, I, I barely touch these ones, but um, I think I need to go ahead and get rid of this one because this is the oldest one I have. And then I have Bombshell Paris. This is the first bombshell that I got. I love the way this one smells as well. And then the last one I have here is Very Sexy. So now we're going to get into the pink, the, pink, um, the pink sprays. So the first one I have here is Sweet Orchid. I picked this one up during um, SAS. It smells really, really good. It has that apple note, but you can still smell that coconut in it. It's just really, really, it just smells really good. And then the next one I have here is my all-time favorite from Pink, which is Warm and Cozy. I had it when it was in this packaging, but when I saw this packaging, I mean, that pack, that one was um, damn near gone anyway. So I went ahead and picked it up in the newer packaging. I just love how it looks. This one has soft vanilla, toasted coconut, and passion fruit. It just smells really, really good. And like I said, this one is my all-time favorite. And then the next one I have here is Calm Water. I love this one, y'all. I love how fresh and it has a fresh, uh, sweet scent. And it just smells really, really good. So I have this one. The next one. The next one I have here is Bronze Coconut. It's just another coconut uh, scent. Um, I have Berry Pop. It's just a sweet berry scent. It smells really, really good. The next one I have here is Floral um, Flower Crush. I picked up during SAS, and it's a, a, a pretty soft floral scent. I have Love Haze, which is a scent from an older um, collection. This one just has rank his petals and airy musk. It smells really, really good. I have Coco and Glow. I did pick this one up during SAS as well. I have Soft and Dreamy, another one of my favorites from the pink line. And then I have Pink Lemonade. This is probably one of my favorite ones that I picked up from SAS. It smells really, really good. It smells just like lemonade. Um, it just smells really, really good. And then the next one I have here is Pink Blooms. I love the packaging on this one. The next one I have is Tropic Palm. This one is just another, um, it just smells really, really good. And I love the packaging on it. The next one I have here is Warm Cozy, Warm and Cozy Chilled. And this one has, um, this one is, this one has notes of coconut sorbet and winter, and it says winter decay. Um, it just smells a little bit more sweeter than the original Warm and Cozy. And then I have 
water mist as well i this one smells really really good um this one's just a nice fresh scent as well as you guys know i love my fresh scents i may do a video on like my favorite fresh scents or whatever because i love freshness and i have a lot of fresh scents so have this one it smells really really good and it smells different from calm water they just have different notes and then i also have the fresh and clean in its old packaging i need to just go ahead and get the new packaging so i have this one and then i have i have beach flower um which is an older uh scent from an older collection this will used to be my favorite scent from pink they need to go ahead and um come back out with this one in the newer packaging um I, but like i said i really really like this one as well and then i do have a uh, sun kiss bouquet this is from an old collection as well and then i also have fresh and clean bouquet so i'm gonna go ahead and pull out all of my um body creams and lotions and i will be right back all right y'all so now we're going to get into the lotions and body creams that i have from victoria's secrets i don't have as many because i used to i used to be the person to just buy sprays when it came to um when it came to victoria's secrets i just used to get the um the lotions like the sprays and call it that i would never um get the stuff but you know now i'm more so into like pairing my stuff so that my like my scent lasts a lot longer so we're just gonna get right into it so the first the first ones i'm gonna get to it on the victoria's secret line i have bare vanilla i have marine splash i have la spell la creme i have velvet petals radiant and then i have saint uh, tropez beach orchid i have midnight bloom i have horizon in bloom and then I also have Bright Palm. Okay, so for the pink ones, I have Berry Sea Lotion. I have the Cocoa Lotion. And I also, okay, you know what? I have some other stuff that I need to pick up. I have the Cocoa Lotion. <coughs> And then I also have the oat lotion. For some reason, I should have opened this one when I first got it. I cannot get it to open. Like, it's not. I can't get this lotion to open for some reason. But eventually, one day, I'm going to get it to open. So, I do have the oat lotion as well. I have the pink lemonade lotion. Uh, I do think that the that the pink lotions are a little bit more creamier and a little bit more thicker than the um, Victoria's Secret lotions. So, yes. That's just my thoughts on that. Um, I have pink lemonade. I have tropic palm. I have calm water. I have soft and dreamy. Warm and cozy. And then the last one I have is bronze coconut. I'll be right back because I do have some scrubs that I should have picked up from Victoria's Secrets to show you guys. So I'll be right back. All right, y'all. So for the first scrub I have is from the Victoria's Secret side. Um, I have coconut milk and rose. I have not used it yet. Um, I just need to go ahead and get the lotion, the spray, and the body wash for this one. So I really do like this one. And they have some other ones I really like, but eventually I'll get them. But this is the only scrub I have from that side so far and then i have four the others um three more scrubs from the pink side so i have the cocoa scrub i have the apricot the uh, apricot scrub and then i also have the oat scrub i really really do like these scrubs you get a nice um little bit of exfoliation and they also foam up which is another good another nice thing i like about it so like I said, this is the last one that I also have. The last thing that I own is from the um, from Victoria's Secret is the cocoa oil. So that is it for my Victoria's Secret collection, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know down in the comment section some of y'all's favorite Victoria's Secret um, products. And yes, please do not leave here without subscribing and giving my video a thumbs up. And I'll see you beautiful people in my next video. Mwah.